everybody, it's HeepleZoot here, and welcome to a tutorial of how to make a tournament on Challenge.com. Now, I've actually already done a tutorial here. It was an outdated tutorial as of now, because they've added some several features, and I figured I'd redo the video. Now, you first, first of all, you come and you go to Challenge.com. It's pretty much up there. It's like Challenge, except instead of the E, there's an O. And once you sign in or make an account, making an account is really easy. All you have to do is provide an email and a password. Pretty simple. Um, you'll see your name right here. I have people's dude. You go to tournaments, which is the page I'm actually on. From there, you create a new tournament. Now, it's going to take a second. Wow. Man. Wow, that's taking actually a good, a good, yeah, wow. Why did I have to click it twice? Anyways, as you see, I have a tournament here that's already named test. But actually, I'm actually going to host a tournament right now. So, uh, I'm just going to gonna call the tournament Randbats because they're going to be, it's going to be a random battle tournament. Uh, first of all, um, a disclaimer is I want, I'm actually using, I'm actually, this is actually supposed, this is actually more geared towards a tournament on Sh Pokemon Showdown, the uh, Pokemon Simulator online simulator rather but it can be used any it can be used for anything else it's uh, pretty much universal so here we go here we go here's the URL normally you could type anything you want as long as the URL isn't taken it'll let you pick it some people have picked some of the URLs that I might want to try here but as for the ta uh, for the purposes of this test I'm gonna generate a random URL and URL and use that now the type of tournaments it could be single elimination double elimination round robin or Swiss Single elimination is exactly as it sounds. It's you get eliminated once and you're done. Double in elimination is exactly how it sounds as well. You get eliminated twice and you're out. It's pretty much works like it pretty much works as there's a winner's bracket and a loser's bracket. You lose the winner's bracket, you go to the loser's bracket. And then the end of the tournament, the winner of the loser's bracket will face the winner of the winner's bracket. It's pretty uh simple if you think about it. Now, round robin it's uh, pretty much a game mode which will allow it's pretty much a tournament type which allows see I haven't I haven't actually looked these up in a while I haven't actually done these in a while but I do remember that round robin is a tournament type that allows you that pretty much forces everyone to battle each other it's a point based system it's pretty simple so not really recommended most people go with single or double elimination but if you want to be creative or have some sort of have some sort of desire for complication, you can choose Round Robin or Swiss. I'd, I honestly haven't really dealt with Swiss as much, so I can't really explain it too well, but I know that Chess uses it. Anyways, you can cr include a match for third place. Most people don't do this because people don't, for some reason, people don't like doing a third place match. It kind of just makes you the loser of the winners, but some people enjoy it. So, But for the purposes of this, I'm going to keep it ma uh, third place free because... I don't want to have to deal with people. Well, that's not really what I'm going to say. I wouldn't want to have to deal with telling people that, hey, there's still a third place match, play it. And then them going like, nah, I don't want to. Just move the other guy ahead. I'm like, okay. Now, customizable round labels. It'll, um, when you um, finally make your bracket, there'll the, actually, I'll show you then. It's not really relevant at the moment because I would have to describe it. It's what it is, it's essentially every single round um it'll it'll um there'll be the bracket the bracket list for every single round then above the bracket above the bracket list will be round 1, round 2, round 3 respectively to the round respectively to the amount of uh participants that are still left on the bracket. You can customize it to say round 1 is uh beginning, then round then the uh last round whatever round that may be is uh round awesome. I don't really know. I don't really care either. But here you can for the registration, you can provide a list of participants. Uh, that's if you want to have total control over who is in this tournament. Or you can host a sign-up page, which, I'm, which is what I'm going to do. Which will allow anyone with the sign-up link to, act to sh sign up for your tournament. Now, I'm going to make it publicly visible so people can look at it. And that's pretty much it. Now, the new one of the new features is Teams. It requires team registration with challenge. Team registration with challenge. I haven't really diving into teams, but how I how I um I've actually I actually looked it up, and how it actually works is you have to create a a um, a separate team challenge, and you can invite anyone. It's under your account, and you can invite anyone to the team. It's pretty much how it works. You can include teams or not. I'm not going to. You can specify a number of participants. Now the number of participants that are that you want in the tournament. 
uh, we usually go up by increments of two. Two, four, six, two, four, eight, um, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 2, 6, 256, and so on and so forth, depending on how big your term is going to be. 16 is a nice number. It's nice and it's nice and small. Now, another new feature that Challenge has added is a start time. You can actually choose what date and what time it's going to start. Um, of course, I'm not. Of course, I don't really. I'm not going to. I'm not going to include a start time because it's going to be rather quick for the signups. But if you want to and want to be really organized and have a tournament at a later date where a lot of people sign up, this is pretty good. Now. You can actually have the participants check in. Um, if you click, if uh, actually I'll just show you, third uh, at 5 p.m. Yes, yeah, si at 6:55. Why not? And then you can require them to check in 15 minutes, 30 minutes, up to this amount of time. That this will um, this will absolutely keep their spot in. If not, they're gone. I'm just gonna delete all this because I don't actually want that there for mine. Now for for game, you can choose whatever you want. I'm gonna go with the all intents and purposes of why am I? <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually trying to type the actual uh, barcode, which is play Pokemon Showdown dot com. But you can put anything you want here. Normally I put nothing, but for the purpose of the video, I'll put in Pokemon Showdown description. You can put whatever you want. I'm not gonna um, include a description because there's nothing really I have to describe. It's a, gonna be a random battle tournament. Now advanced options: hide the seed numbers, quick advance. I'm actually gonna click quick click quick advance. So they can just click, they can just report the winners and not the scores. This is right there. That way they don't have to waste time. Allow match attachments. That's so they can attach uh, the URL to the mat to the winner of the match. Hide the seed numbers. Pretty self-explanatory. Nothing too, nothing too uh, important. Allow participants with challenge accounts to report their own scores. You want that, of course, on. You can share if you in the event that you uh, that you want somebody else to host a tournament with you, or you can't host it yourself. But you, but you can't host it yourself at the date, but you have someone who will. You can just choose usernames. I'm not going to have anyone because I don't really want to. But how this works is I can, you can, type, you can start typing in their name, and the, the users that come, up, that come up with the name will, will show up. Right there, DMAC 2008, DMOC 2008, somebody I, uh, somebody I knew. And normally I would have shared the tournament with him, if anything. Exclude the, the event from search engines. And I really don't care about that. I'm not going to exclude it. It's not going to last long enough to be to matter, regardless. Now, let's see. Notifications notify their. That pretty much sends them an email. And I'll just leave. Usually, I just don't mess with the advanced options besides quick advance. But eh, I'm not going to click these things out, regardless. And yeah. Enable bracket predictions. Enable voting. Pretty self-explanatory. So, without further ado, we save and continue. Now here we go. Hey, people's dude, to get started, directly go to your sign-up page, which is I'm, which is what I'm going to I'm going to copy the link location to the sign-up page. I don't know why it's why it shows me this when I could just click. See, it, it's redundancy. It doesn't really matter. Or I can add participants. Now I'm actually going to go to registration. Here's the registration. I'm going to sign up because I want to be a part of it. Now here, this is this is the tournament show. This is the Pokemon Showdown part. If you if you just wanted to watch the tutorial itself. To how to make a tournament on challenge, just stop here. Thank you for watching. But if you're making a tournament on challenge for the tournament's room in, well, rather on Pokemon Showdown, this is what you do. You go to a moderator, well, a driver, moderator, anything higher. I usually go for people I know, which is Keelon. He's one of the people I know. You go, hey, can I host a tournament? Here's the link. Whoops. It's Randbats. And normally, if you, normally the, normally they're really responsive unless they're um they're away from keyboard AFK. But I'm rather sure he's here, and there he is, approved. So that's pretty much it. After that, you just make sure your link is copied. And you know, type whatever you want into the chat. Double asterisk is for bold. I'm actually going to scroll up and see if if things yeah okay things haven't changed. I haven't been here in a while, so I didn't know if any if uh, things had changed that much. Double asterisk is for bold. Hey everyone, I'm hosting a random battle tournament. Sixteen six fifteen spots. Remain remaining. 
And of course, I spelled remaining wrong. Let's go figure. They don't. I actually don't know how I spelled that wrong, but that's pretty much it. Then you hit enter, and that's it. And I forgot to. Actually, what I forgot to do is uh, include the actual approval. You want to do that, but uh, as for how it is, <laughs> um, as you can see. Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> as you can see, I'm recognized, I'm recognized by the staff already because I used to be staff myself, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> apologize for this. I apologize for this. I apologize for this. This is a little bit unprofessional, but I don't want him to feel bad because I can understand that he was just he was doing it out of the goodness of his heart. But regardless, that's pretty much it. I have it loaded up here. You just click up on the up on your uh, up on your arrow cat or arrow cats arrow keys to have it there. That's pretty much it. Hey everyone, I'm hosting a random battle tournament. 15 spots remaining. Challenge.com, and then include the approval that you got. I'm actually going to go to the sign up page. I'm going to keep it in a separate link. There's somebody else who joined. It's not really a busy time of the t busy time of the day, even though it's for 254 users, right? And there we go. That's pretty much it. So thank you to Kilon, thank you to Transmuter, and thank you to everyone who's watching this video. This has been People's Dude, first tutorial on how to make a tournament on Challenge.com, and I'll see you guys here for other content. See you guys later. See you guys.